Hello, uh, my name is Anne-Sophie, I'm uh, from France and I am an ocean activist. So I come from the world of research. I've been uh, studying political sciences and I've been researching in social and political sciences about the adaptation uh, to the climate crisis. Um, and that's really by going on the field um, among the, the communities that are the most threatened by the climate crisis that I realized that the ocean is our biggest ally to address the climate crisis and that restoring and protecting marine ecosystem has huge impacts. So I created a social business called Tenaka um, and we restore marine ecosystems. Um, so coral reefs, mangroves, and we are starting now a program on uh, seagrass meadows. Um, so basically the restoration of the ocean provides tremendous positive impacts for local uh, communities, for biodiversity, for carbon sequestration in the case of mangroves and seagrass. Um, but also for jobs, livelihoods. That's why I wanted to start a social business that uh, can fund these solutions, these blue solutions to the climate crisis, uh, in order really to, to, to answer to this problem um, and to enable scientists and local communities to spend 100% of their time on having an impact and not like 70% having an impact and 30% in the office like doing grants or stuff, even more sometimes. I think collaboration is really central in addressing um, climate solutions and solutions for the environmental crisis more generally, the biodiversity crisis as well. Building synergies and breaking the silos between uh, scientists, uh, local communities, businesses, governments is the most impactful way that in which we can have an impact. If we want to address the climate crisis, which is such a big systemic crisis, we need to address it in a systemic way and to really work together. It's also very important to go outside of it and to, to nourish yourself from the experience of, uh, and the experiences of, of others. Like one of the most important skills for a leader to me is empathy and being able to lead others with empathy and with compassion. Um, and also to have this vision of being able to, okay, let's have a goal, let's have this roadmap and to be able to bring a team or a group of people together with empathy to go towards this goal. We are all, each and every one of us is basically fighting a fight that is way bigger than ourselves um, and so sometimes it's important to, um, to recenter and to, to, to really strengthen the, the, the values that we have and the, the, the skills that we have to be able to be a better leader. Um, so yeah, I would say empathy, vision, uh, and passion, of course, you have to be passionate as well. Everything that we can do at our individual level, I think, has a huge impact. And if we do it all together, it really makes a huge, huge change.